The scale feature works for scaling an entire part, but what if you want to scale a sketch? For that, you can use the scale entities. And if you come into this move entities pull down, you can see the scale entities. There's a box that allows you to add items to scale, and I can go ahead and just hover over, choose those out. And then we need to choose a point to scale about. And we can either create a copy here or just scale the entire feature or sketch entities. You will notice though that if there are any dimensions, it won't allow those parts of the model to scale. And if we do use that copy option, we have the ability to create multiple offsets, but this can get fairly messy all being held in a single sketch. So if I was to use this tool, I would typically create a sketch in which I convert over my initial sketch. And then from here, scale the sketch. You will notice that there's no relations associated with scale entities, which means that once this is scaled, this is pretty much free to move, and it has no link to that initial sketch. We could also quickly use the fully defined sketch tool if this undefined sketch is going to prove problematic. You will notice for a spline it does remove out the spline points and simply follow that simple curve. So when you do use fully defined sketch, you'll see the splines as fully defined as well. I typically don't use this tool, I'd only recommend it in a case where you have a single sketch that takes quite a bit of work to scale. If it becomes simple enough to scale it and then use the fully defined sketch, that's a perfectly good place to use it. I wouldn't recommend it to scale your entire part. As you can see, individually these sketches can be fairly difficult to manage because there's no relations that come in with the scale entities.